Everyone's here, Doctor. Hmm. Very well. Let us begin. Unfortunately, the operation was a failure. We're back to square one. Well, there's no point in being depressed about it. We know how they travel. All we have to do is try again. No, this was an ambush. It won't work a second time. They need only to adjust their timing slightly and we would be left high and dry. Besides, we'll never be able to gather that many beacons again. No. Doctor, I have no doubt that was justice. She looked exactly the same as the last time I saw her, during the Crusades. Where the hell is the Conclave planning to activate that monster? I've been pondering that same question. As far as I can tell, she has not yet been activated. I suspect that means they must first move her to a facility which is capable of activating her. Not to mention they're gonna need a whole lot of juice to power her up. Are you feeling better, Sol? I ain't made a glass. If you hadn't stopped me, I could have destroyed Justice in the backyard! Sorry. Uh, maybe tone it down? Hell saved your life. Why the hell do you have to be such a jerk? Huh. <laughs> I wasn't totally sold on all this until I saw Justice myself. But if they found a way to revive her, reactivating a bioweapon requires a shitload of energy and a facility to harness it. Wait, doesn't that make this easy, then? The facility they intend to use has to be within the radius of their maximum movement. So we just identify it and wait for them to show up. No. The amount of energy we're speaking of far exceeds what anything in this era can generate. Then how the hell are they gonna turn justice on? They've got to have a plan. It can't be this easy. Where do you think you're going? I'm going to have a chat with Ram. That gonna work? I don't know. But if I don't try, then it might actually be the end of the world. The world, huh? What exactly does that mean to you? What? You were just born. How the hell could you know anything about this world? Hey, come on. Shut it. I didn't ask you a question. I asked her. Um... You're right. I might not really be able to say what the world's really like. But, but my world is Ram, and all of you guys. I don't want to lose that. I mean, nobody's ever said I was their friend before. Huh. Good enough. Ram! Please, can you just tell me where Justice is going? We're running out of time! Do you like these things? Huh? Um... Yeah, I do. What does it feel like to like someone. The first feeling I felt after I got feelings was that I wanted to do something good. That's the personality I was programmed with, after all. But humans had complete freedom. They could be close, or they could push each other away. I couldn't even understand what they wanted. People can do the right thing, or the wrong thing. They can love each other or hate each other. It was horrible to see them hurt each other. But even that was a freedom they had that I didn't. So I started to wonder, was there anything good about all of this? I couldn't find an answer I could put into words, but there was one thing I was sure about. Everybody has the ability to smile. What? 
and I realized I wanted to see lots of smiles. I think that's what it feels like to like someone. I want to see myself smile. Does that mean I like myself? Yeah, I think so. The act of liking yourself is called narcissism and is only practiced by especially pathetic humans. Are you sure this is okay? Yes, it's totally fine. Sin said he wanted to see me smile. Does that mean he likes me? Yeah, he definitely likes you. When you like somebody, you want them to be happy. Is that the same as being unique? <laughs> yeah, I guess so, in a way. If you really want to make somebody smile, then that means you like them. I wanted Mother to think I was unique. But now... What is the Conclave trying to do? The scars of the Crusades are still fresh in the minds of the people. You need only look to see them. We were fixing that, though. With magic, we could improve our condition. And wars over resources were almost unheard of. Following one's dreams no longer had to come at the expense of another. Yeah, I don't know what they're thinking, if that's what you're getting at. But to me, this world doesn't look all that hot. What? Good stuff is good, but bad shit's bad. Yeah, things are stable, and you're getting closer to your endgame every day. People have nice lives, but that comes at the cost of their freedom of choice. So you advocate for anarchy and chaos? No. But right now, nobody has to work for anything. You just give it to them. Eventually, they're gonna go from appreciating that to expecting it. And deep down, eventually they get scared of losing it. Do you think that's how we should live? Not all people have the strength to stand on their own. If only life were simple, and the right path was laid out before each of us. But even then, some would leave it, and some would struggle with walking it. Such is human nature. The truth is that no path will ever be right for all people. Each of us must find the one we are meant to walk, and sometimes that is where none exists. That is what I learned from you. When I look at you, soul, I see a man who is afraid. What? It became clear when I watched you caring for Sin. You work very hard to keep everyone at arm's length. I got gear blood in my veins, and it ain't friendly. It's always there in the back of my head, whispering that I ought to just destroy all of this. The only way I'm gonna get some closure is tracking down that man and beating some answers out of him. And if he doesn't have them, then maybe there really isn't a good way to live. That's why you close your heart off. I think it's a bit too late to protest, though, considering your relationship with Sin and myself. Thanks for reminding me of the hell I'm stuck in. Your Majesty! And you's not gonna solve anything now anyway. Please, go on. You already have the answer. Or at least you've gotten close. Justice isn't awake yet, and she needs a lot of energy to wake up. You're talking to us? Damn. Sin's touchy-feely bullshit actually worked? Well, where are they going? 
We can't think of any place that can generate the kind of juice you need. Maybe that man's lab, but... We aren't going to generate anything. We're going to harness an existing source. It's simple, really. Just think. What time is it? You little... What time is it? I'm sick of your... Wait. St. Elmo's fire! What? My goodness. Yes, St. Elmo's fire would definitely have enough energy to activate justice. Interesting. But how would it be done? Hmm. It would require an impressive facility just to capture the energy and channel it into justice. You mean like Illyria Castle? What? Well, isn't it like a lightning rod or something? I didn't really know what that was all about, but 